In this video we're going to be learning how to set up the CNC lathe. To do the lathe setup you will need your part plans, the setup steps, a piece of material cut several inches longer than you need, a dial caliper, a micrometer, a half inch gauge block, a 1 1,000th thickness gauge, and something to write with. To start up the machine, flip the power button. It's a red dial on the left hand side of the machine. I'm now going to twist the red E stop button and press start, and this will boot the controller. The first step for your setup is going to be to perform what's called a machine zero. This is going to um, bring the machine back to its zero zero location. To do that, I'm going to press machine zero on the controller. I'm going to do the X axis first so I press the X arrow pointed downward and once it all movement ceases I will press the Z right handed arrow and you can hear the machine moving in the background. The machine will then move to home position. Next I'm going to place the material in the chuck. I've cut my material several inches longer than I need. I'm going to slip it into the chuck and I'm now going to use my dial indicator. I'm going to set my dial indicator about an inch or two longer than the part. In this case my part is about two inches long, not quite, so I'll set my dial indicator for three inches and I'm going to use the depth portion of the dial caliper up against the face of the chuck keys. Then I'm going to lock in the piece of material. Always remove the chuck key after locking in the material. My next step is I'm going to load in the program. I'm going to press the program button three times to enter what's called the program list window. The window is always listed in the top left hand corner of the screen. I'm now going to use the arrow keys to highlight the file that I'm going to load. In this case I'm loading file 0002. Once I have my file highlighted I press the EOB key for end of block and it will go ahead and load that file. We're now going to clear all previous workpiece coordinates. I'm going to press the program button another three times to enter the program state window. I'm now going to move my tool carriage into position somewhere around my material. To do this I press manual and now I can use the X and Z arrow keys to move my tool carriage. I want to make sure that I keep my tooling a safe distance away from the material. Now back to our controller. In the program state window I'm going to clear all offsets. I'm going to do that by pressing the MDI key and I'm going to enter T0100 U0 W0 Press data input, cycle start. Now you just heard the tool turret rotate. If you are, are not on tool number one, the tool turret will automatically rotate to tool number one. Now that I've cleared the previous offsets, I'm going to need to program new offsets for both the tool and zero zero on the workpiece get some light. To do this we're going to use the MPG hand wheel to move our uh, tooling. So if I press MPG on the controller and then I press a direction such as X and a value I'm going to use the times 100 on the controller. As I move my hand wheel you should see the tool carriage moving 
in the left hand side of your screen. If I press Z, I will move the carriage left and right. By pressing times 10, my movements become very gradual. It's one one thousandth of an inch per click of the MPG hand wheel. Never press times 1000, it will overstep and move incredibly rapidly. So I'm going to use times 100 to get myself into a rough position and I'm going to use times 10 to get myself in close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to face this part. I'm going to press spindle clockwise to start my spindle. I'm now going to move my tooling in with the MPG hand wheel and face the part. And I just want to take a very small amount off the end. Progressing in slowly. Once I have faced the part, I back off, never changing the z-axis, always along the x. Press spindle stop once you have done, once you are done facing. From this point, I'm now going to enter my workpiece coordinates for the z values. My workpiece coordinate for z, I'm going to press MDI in the program state window. I'm going to enter G. 50 Z 0 data input cycle start I now press the offset key this brings me to the tool offset and wear window I make sure that tool 1 is selected I can use my up and down arrows and I'm going to enter Z 0 data input that sets my Z tool offset to zero for tool one. We're now going to go through the same process and do a light turning pass. So I go back to program con or program state, use MPG hand wheel, start my spindle, and I'm going to progress inward and take a very light pass on the material. And I'm going to turn probably about a half inch or so. When I exit the tool, I'm going to exit only on the x-axis. Press spindle stop. I'm now going to use the micrometer to take a measurement on the part. Try not to block the camera too much here. So I'm going to measure that turned area that I just faked that I just spun. And I'm going to write this measurement down. So I, am, I measured this at a current diameter of 0.9977. Point On the controller, in the program state window, I'm going to press MDI and enter my workpiece coordinate. G50 X.9977. Seven, seven. Data input, cycle start. I just entered my workpiece coordinate for tool one. I press offset again to tool offset and where. Tool one selected, I enter X.9977 data input. So tool one is now totally taken care of. I'm now going to set up my second cutting tool and this process ends up being tool number four. So I'll quickly use my MPG hand, hand wheel to move my tool carousel further away from my part to do a safe tool change and I press the tool change button until I get to tool number four. 
which is the cutoff tool. I'm going to stay in the tool offset and wear window now. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, setting the offset for tool 4 by using the MPG hand wheel and I'm going to use a half inch gauge block. I'm going to come in along my Z axis and I want to be able to just slip this half inch gauge block between the face of the part and the edge of the cutter. And I can move it one one thousandth at a time. Until I can just slip it in there. Once I can just fit that half inch gauge block in, I come back to my tool offset and wear window, use my down arrows to highlight tool number four, and I en now enter Z.5 because it's a half inch away from zero. Data input. The next step is for me to set my X offset. For this I'm going to use a thin half inch thickness gauge once again using the MPG hand wheel to position my cutter. The light is hot so you may want to move it away from your hands. What I want to be able to do, I'm going to position the cutter in front of the area I just turned. I'm going to just outside of the stock. And now moving along the x-axis, I'm going to approach the part slowly, moving this thickness gauge. And I want to bring my cutter in a thousandth at a time until I can just pull the thickness gauge past the part, but cannot press it back through. So right about there. I'm now one one thousandth away from the part. If you remember from our previous operations, that thickness there is 0.9977. So I add one one thousandth of an inch. And for tool number four offset, I enter X.9987. One one thousandth larger than before. Data input. I have now gone ahead and set this machine up completely, I'm ready to go ahead and run. Before I start a run, I like to move my tool clear of the part. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to press the program button and now I'm in program content. You should see lathe part 2 highlighted move the camera so you can see. The last thing I'm going to do on my controller is press auto, close my machine door, and press cycle start to begin the run of the part. If at any time you encounter a problem, press the e-stop button, which is the red button on the controller. Notice I am leaving my hand on that button in case there's an emergency. Now the program is done. Wait for all motion to cease before reaching inside of this machine. 
will be wet. As you can see, lots of cutting fluid. You can see, here's our finished part. Got a nice clean finish on it. And if we programmed it correctly, should look exactly like our drawing. Now notice there is a small end here left by the cut tool. We could go ahead and stick this in our manual lathe and face that clean off.